What up everybody, this is the Handstand Steve with Project Bodyweight. Today we're gonna go over basic calisthenics. Basic calisthenics consists of your five key movements, okay? You got your push movement, your pull movement, anything that has to do with your arms, your legs, and your abs. All right, so your five key movements. Your push movements, anything that has to do with pushing away from your body, obviously, push-ups, handstand push-ups, and your pull movements, anything where you're pulling towards your body. And you got your pull-ups, your Australian assisted pull-ups, one-arm pull-ups, and your core is super important because it brings everything together. Uh, now, your arms, you can do pull-ups. Pull-ups and chin-ups are one of the best bicep exercises you can do, and as far as your legs go, your legs are your foundation towards everything. If you don't have a strong foundation, everything else is going to be weak. All right, so for basic push exercises, you got push-ups, but then you have dips. This dips are one of the best chest, chest activation exercises you can do. You get a full range of motion. You get a lot of activation. And right now, I'm 170 pounds. I'm pushing 100% of 170 pounds off of my chest. Pull exercises, pull ups, same thing. 100% of my body weight, and I'm getting full range of motion, muscle activation. It's an incredibly dynamic exercise. I'm mixing with uh, eccentric hold with my abs, doing an L sit working my whole upper body. All right, so chin-ups are one of the best exercises you can do for your bicep. Um, really pull-ups in general work a lot of your bicep. There's three different ways that you can do that. The chin-up with your hands facing towards you is gonna work that bicep muscle the most. It's one of the best bicep exercises you can do. Then, do it side to side. And then you can also do pull-ups with your hands facing away from you. Just like that. Okay, for your abs, you got lots of variations. Toes to bar, up like this. If you can't go all the way, you can tuck your knees in. Make sure you tilt your pelvis forward and you engage all your abs. You also got windmills where you go up. And you work your obliques. I like to work my abs on the bleachers like this so I don't get pressure on my spine and I can go real deep. And if I want, I can grab some weight and throw in my hand and apply more uh, force and make my abs work harder. But uh, within this, you can twist, you can get your obliques. There's a lot of movement. You're activating a lot of muscle fibers in this movement. <laughs> 